What's up everybody, so glad you're here. I'm on Gary the Snail on the Tron planet. The black hole has taken over the Earth. The super collider has gone off and a bunch of alien planets have shown up. We got one where the blasted base is, another neon planet where the DJs live, and we got the Tron ice planet here. I did not know that the Tron ice planet has ores on it. That's ridiculous. You can get ores you can get uranium at the same time as you get ice. You can get platinum at the same time as you get ice. This is, this is like my favorite planet all of a sudden. Okay, so uh, I had somebody ask me a little bit more in detail as to how, uh, or to, to speak in a little more detail as to how the hinge drill system works. So, um, uh, again, let you know right now, it is a lagtastic voyage. If you want to hop in on the hinge drill bandwagon, doing it in low gravity is not a great idea, but I'm going to give it a go and see how assembling this works uh, in low gravity. I was just doing some ice scraping, so I literally had just put down a, a piston with some drills on it and was just going down. So there is a hole down there. Uh, I had to, because, uh, you know, of a, a bit of a glitch, uh, I had to... to grind down my hinge drill but um, essentially it goes like this we got a rotor going right here with a conveyor tube uh, conveyor block sorry junction uh, you need it to be uh, uh, you know either a curved conveyor tube or a conveyor junction I like the conveyor junction just in case I want to grind one of these outside blocks down uh, I can put guns on the outside uh, and as this thing spins it can also be defending itself uh, but we got the uh, the rotor right here um, and it's literally you could do it without this wall just ignore this this is a guard railing um, but basically uh, on this side I've got a tire again as a bump guard because you just never know uh, what clang might try to explode um, <clears throat> and some hinges so we just pick a direction um, and, and we go down. So I'm going to see how the floating works. I'm going to take the lock off. Okay, so it's actually going the opposite way of where I want it to go to spool this. So I'm going to go reverse. And nope, I clicked it again. Okay, and for the speed of this thing, um, I'm not really sure that I want to encourage it to speed up. One of the reasons why I think this was having such a, a malfunction on me earlier was because I had it set to a ridiculously high speed. I do have building repairs that will be aiding in this process, but the most important thing to do while you're building the hinge drill is to A, not panic, B, not panic, or C, not panic. <laughs> it's to not panic. Uh, once you get building this this thing, I'm telling you, you're gonna wind up either loving it or just hating it. But uh, whoops, that's not how you spell that. Hinge. I'm just gonna go all off. Okay. Now, the weight of the hinge chain is going to be doing some funny things in low gravity so just be prepared for that okay I like that it's actually doing a little dangle action uh, makes me think that it's actually going to work in this low gravity situation uh, <clears throat> but whoa this whole process is something that I have done so many times at this point um, you can't blueprint this you cannot blueprint this it's a subgrid on 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 a subgrid that's the chain every single piece of this chain is a subgrid there's there's no blueprinting this what, what seems to be the matter why, why isn't this why isn't this stuff welding that's so weird that's so weird I have no idea why that stuff isn't okay well unfortunately Unfortunately, I don't 
know how long this is going to take. But it's going to take basically one rotation of it moving back up. So you would do about this speed to go down and about this speed to go back up. Welcome to my world, world of hinge drilling. It might be slow, but there are advantages to hinge drilling. For example, you can drag drills to gather ice. Um, that one's always fun. Uh, you could just kind of set your wheels to a automatic speed, make sure you're not going to run off any giant cliffs, such as this one, which would be terrible. Uh, and then once you're, you know, you just set your wheels to whatever speed and just let it drag. And then you're collecting ice as you're going along. Is my, my BNR is turned on. It welded up those. I don't know why these other ones aren't getting welded though. So weird. Oh. Needed to kick start it. Okay. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh. Nope. It's doing stuff now. Great. Okay. So. Should be about proper. Hmm. And this is the whole of the app. Ah, this is the whole of the system. Yes, that was game pause. Let it out. Ah, this is this is what starts to happen with the hinge drill. Oh boy. Again, I don't want to go too fast with this thing because of the low gravity. If I were on a high gravity spot, uh, maybe it might work a little bit better. time to time periodically after you set some go in here and make sure all of them are turned off okay now <clears throat> once this gets to a certain uh, spool certain uh, depth of spool um, we're going to have a circular layer uh, on layer on layer of these hinges. Obviously flying around with that is impossible. So I have a rotor right here which is set in cockpit to attach and detach. Whoops, my hydrogen. Attach and detach. So let me just real quick. check my ship's fuel level see what's going on with that there we go all right 97 let's go you got as many tanks as i do my goodness all right okay so that is curl number one coming in for a landing there Go down here and repeat the process. Basically, we're just going to keep building drills until such time that the spool will not go past this point. We need, we need to actually uh, bring it down a little bit more than that. But once we know that the spool won't go past this point, uh, it'll be bringing the drills down right here. Because each time this thing spools, it's going to go out of length. It's going to go out of length. So we're looking at, what, uh, maybe one, two, three, four, four rotations. Uh, let's just get wider and wider each time you do so each time the rotation happens 
and uh, so the drills actually wind up acting off the subgrid of the rotor when you're flying so they'll spin kind of forward and backward as if the rotor you know uh, you know you have to adjust the torque setting on the brake of the rotor for it to, to actually do anything the hinges will jiggle but everything is locked in place those those drills aren't dangling around they're locked in place which by the way let me reverse this out of position here so that this has got space um, oh wait no that's my measuring device let's put that back out there <coughs> yeah yeah but I also um, you know have been known to use these conveyor junctions as a measuring tool as well so you can see now it's uh, at level with number this is one two three just level with number two uh, and now you can see that it's coming up halfway up number two so pretty much each time this thing turns a quarter uh, it goes up 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 such is the life alright so I'm going to add more real fast and then jump back up into the okay <laughs> and then jump back up into the chair so we go eight okay, one, two. because it's extremely important that you turn these things off before they get into the area where they need to curve because otherwise the brakes are all turned on and uh, it'll have tension and all that good stuff so just go here you go on off I just go on off you could come down here and make sure the braking torques all the way turned off the torque itself is all the way turned off it doesn't really matter because when it's off everything's off this is how it works just a swinging hinge at that point so all right so next rotation you're gonna see the second block is covered up so we're just gonna keep up with that <laughs> so yeah that's my black hole um, you know put that there it is uh, hyper entertaining because uh, I kind of triangulated all of these planets to uh, Earth there. There is actually a really groovy shot you could get if you went in, uh, into the center of all three and got the black hole. Uh, that's that's a little, little photo opportunity right there. And then on top of that, that is a black hole inside the planet. So if you were to get within the event horizon you would be not happy with what happens check out my other video on what happens when you go into the event horizon of a black hole in space engineers you would enjoy it all right anyway so if you stuck with me this far we're almost done we are almost done here uh let me see let me see let me see so where are we coming up to okay so we've got Looks like maybe one more rotation. Yeah. And I like that this hole is right here too because it kind of keeps the hinges from bouncing forward or backward. It really helps. Again, uh, excess gravity doesn't help. The artificial gravity doesn't help either. Um, it's just... Uh, or sorry, the lack of gravity doesn't help. The, the artificial gravity doesn't help because it might be a subgrid, but it's still a part of the grid itself. Um, so it, it's kind of like a, where did my tire go? Tires! What? Oh, that's not good. Oh, why do you, why does this thing do this to me? My tires disappear all the time. It's the most annoying thing anymore. <laughs> my tires just up and disappear. They don't explode. 
they don't they don't clang they just they just ghosts man jeez anyway uh all right so looks like we're headed up to the spot right here this might actually be plenty let me make sure everything's turned off again it's my habit to overdo it making sure everything's turned off when it comes to these hinges -do -do. Uh, okay so by the time that gets to right there that might actually be my spot and we're gonna have the pleasure having this so where's my set of there's the drill let me do number five so uh, you could always do one of these uh, conveyor tubes um, conveyor junctions just as a weighted block uh, I do have a video of doing this in zero G with mass blocks and everything. Um, I don't recommend that because when it goes wrong, oh, oh boy, does it go wrong? Yep. Okay, let me take a look. It looks like it might be a bit short this time around, but that's okay. I'm all right with that. Um, so here is the rest of it so we got the conveyor junction on this side all right and then we go where's my drills drills all right cool let's get to the uh, let's get to the good stuff so we're gonna go here and specifically want to add in the bottom one first okay I should have gotten that on the dangle but I didn't get it in time I'm trying to explain myself as I go here so we want to get it here and watch what happens when I start adding in stuff to the other side. You see that? It's already kind of tipping off to the side. So you want to add it in this fun little starry angle. Boy, the whole back, the whole back because it loves to slam against that tire. That's why I got that tire right there. Okay, and then you got to get your up scrapers on the sides here. scrapers okay and then last but not least the most important part of the whole shebang making sure that it locks into place this might actually be perfect let this be perfect come on let this be perfect let's go let's go team let's go team Okay, so let it slap against that tire right there. Um, and then I'm going to show you one last little added thing. Oh, no. Don't be don't be spinning on me like that. All right, so let's get let's let's let this thing get to height of the uh, of the rotor right there. Oh, it's going to be I got time. I got time. I know what I'm doing. So go four. Apparently I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. So we go here. What the? No. Oh, that's a height. Oh. Let's lock. Lock me. It's actually a little too tall. But that's okay. So I'm going to show you from the cockpit how I get this thing done. Alright, so. Let me look straight down. Yep, it is much shorter this time around. But that's okay because I found that it was actually a little too tall or a little too deep last time. So I'm going to go, what, four, five right there? Uh, yeah, so it's got it. Uh, let's go four, seven. Let's go four, seven. Okay, so this is just the distance that I'm working with on the piston. Just to try and say, okay, this is going to fit right there. Okay, so let's, real quick, this is super duper important, okay? So when this comes up, this will get caught on that tire or underneath your ship or on the rock as it's coming back up. So it's super important that you have slides, 
Slides are super important for this, okay? Alright. <coughs> so, let's reverse this piston real quick. Uh, reverse. Okay. So it's reversed, but I want to show you from the cockpit here. As long as it will let me do so. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. There it is. Okay, cool. Alright, so, got a little lighting for the area. Just a little mood lighting. Alright, so, and then we're going to go 7, which is going to drop it down. And you can see the weight of the thing, even at uh, 25, uh, 0.25 of the 1G that Earth has. That's it. And so I've got an attach and detach button. That's it. Now it's, now it's attached by the rotor. That's it. So I'm going to go here. Drills. Some of the drills are incomplete. Don't know why. What the? Come on, man. Going to go drills. Save them. Okay. Now I'm going to go see why it's telling me that some of these aren't done. Uh, they are done. They're just not done done. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So normally I like to put some lights and things on there, but... Whoop. In the interest of time, uh, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to say what? Hmm? This should be drills. Pretty sure, right? So, let me give you a quick, oh boy, oh, the tanks are on the stockpile, ha 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 ha, add wheel, and I'll just let my building repair, put those back into place right fast, so we got some platinum right here, and say I wanted that platinum. Okay. Pull up here. I'm gonna kind of just <clears throat> look and see at where the marker is on my ship, which looks like it's actually on the belly right now. So I'm gonna move it a bit forward and a little bit backward. building repair is about to be fired for not doing its job okay so we're just gonna turn this engines off we're in park we're gonna let the bounciness go away with the bouncy subside okay and then we're going to detach the locking rotor it is detached. Okay, we're going to make sure that. Okay, she's dropping right. She's dropping right. All right, and once it gets to a certain height, because I'm not sure how it's going to react in this low gravity, uh, we'll turn the drills on. But just to show you, it does cause a little bit of wobble which can be concerning at times. Um, this will go a lot better when these drills have some stuff in them. So the heavier the drills are on the low gravity, the better. I've got an open tide coming. Oh, just going straight over my head. That's good. Okay. Direct flights, you see. All right. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and since it's below my safety rail on the on the left and right, you can see there I got a little safety rail. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on, let that wobble happen. 
wobbledy wobbledy wobb. Okay. Oh, don't tell me this is from an asteroid. This is from an asteroid, huh? Don't do this to me, man. <laughs> oh, don't do this to me, man. This is no, this is from a meteor. No, I don't need meteor stuff. Oh crap. Okay. Well, well at least now you can see. So it should still pick that up cuz the the arms right here. You can see you just land right on top of it and go for it. Okay. Well, learning something new every day. <laughs> uh so if you were wanting to do an ice scrape, you just go to a spot uh, where they got ice, such as this. You go about that deep, and then you would just set your wheels. I'm not going to try that right now. I would demonstrate uh, the scraper style, but uh, it's not really, not really a good idea for me right at the moment, given my tires are blown up. So this thing is just going to keep digging a hole as this feeds the hinge. Uh, but right now, let's see what it's picking up. I'm pretty sure that's all just ice. Got a little bit of, oh, look at all this platinum. What am I going to do with all that? I'll take it to the market. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, it's weird. Oh, here we go. All right, now we've hit ice. Apparently, we're getting through that dust still. Get through a little bit of dust. That dust is from the asteroids. It uh, does not play well with others. It's not stone. It's not anything. It's just dust. It's super annoying. Uh, so once we see our weight start to go up in the bottom right-hand corner, we can go ahead and rightfully assume that the... Wait a minute. What? It's not collecting anything. What do you mean it's not collecting anything? Oh, my O2s are eating it all up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Well, that's all the time we have for today. This is a little demonstration on uh, Gary the Mining Snail. Just showcasing exactly how to set up uh, the mining system um, now we're just gonna hit the reverse uh, button on the hinges and you can see that it is coming right back up so once it gets up to here I'm gonna lock it in place and that's gonna be it alright well uh, have fun let me know what you do um, you know these hinge drills could go on for infinity as long as you have the hinges so let me know what you've gotten uh let me see what you can do with this concept and uh tag me in a video love to see it catch you in the next one peace